HMS Cardiff joins HMS Glasgow in dry dock fitting out at Scottsdown the Type 26 frigate program achieved another milestone last week with two ships now in the fitting out phase. HMS Cardiff joined the first class, HMS Glasgow in dry dock at Scottsdown. After HMS Cardiff was rolled off the hard standing at Govan she was towed to Glanmalon on August 30th. Following a slight delay due to a technical issue with the barge, she was fully floated off on September 5th. The barge sinks slowly allowing the ship to gently rise off the cradles, giving engineers time to check watertight integrity and adjust the distribution of ballast water if required. BAE Systems has confirmed that the Type 26 program schedule will pick up its pace from first-of-class HMS Glasgow taking 96 months, reducing to 60 months for Ship 8, HMS London, time from first steel cut to ship handover. The interval between laying down each new ship will also reduce from 18 months to 12 months as the Batch 2 program progresses. A type frigate has over 800 separate compartments that must be completed. When the ships arrive to be fitted out, the propulsion system, some large items of equipment, and much of the pipework are in place, but nothing is connected up. Hundreds of miles of electrical and optic fiber cabling have to be strung throughout the ship then many thousands of items have to be installed and aligned. Weapons and sensors have to be fitted and integrated with the ship systems. While in dry dock the propellers, shafts, and bow sonar are fitted. The ship has to be painted inside and out and made habitable with heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems HVAC, installed along with furnishing the accommodation areas and fitting out the galleys. All this has to be done in the correct sequence, and there is a major logistics task job to manage the delivery of thousands of parts for the ship from third-party suppliers. Different skilled trades working on the ship have to be on site at the right time and right numbers to ensure they do not conflict with other work going on in compartments with restricted space. Recent images show the foredeck of HMS Glasgow being prepared to receive the 4X 6L C Scepter VLS modules and the 3X 8L MK41 VLS modules. Another 24 C Scepter cells will be fitted behind the funnel. She has also now been fitted with the MK45 Mod 4A 127mm medium caliber gun mount, the first RN vessel to carry this weapon. The gun will have a fully automated ammunition handling system AHS, fitted in the magazine, capable of sustained fire while operated by just one sailor. This weapon is made by BAE Systems in the US and is already in service with 280 warships and 11 navies including the USN and several other NATO allies together with Australia, New Zealand, and Japan.